back to my channel, Love Lucelle. This is Lucelle Yoshizawa. And yes, you heard that right. I'm already a Yoshizawa, uh, which I will be explaining in a while. So before anything else, um, time and again, I would just like to say thank you so much to all your support. Especially one of our videos got a good number of views and comments. I really enjoyed reading all your stories. We'd like to hear more from you guys. So if you haven't watched it yet, um, please check that out. Today, I just want to share with you that I became legally a Yoshizawa. If you have been following my vlogs, you know that uh, last year, August, Shohei and I, my Japanese husband and I, got engaged. In a few months following that, we decided to legally marry. And on our 7th anniversary, last November 13, 2020, we could submit our you know, marriage documents to one of the city halls here in Tokyo. We wanted to continue our anniversary and luckily we could really have that day to submit our documents. If you are asking if a Filipino can marry a Japanese here in Japan, the answer is yes. And we'll be explaining that to you on our next vlog. So shortly after we submitted our marriage registration form, we immediately went to Nagoya to have our studio photo shoot. You know, we just wanted to commemorate that day. Luckily, we could book one of the studios. Um, they have this photo package that we can already have included in the payment is the um, wedding kimono. So we don't have to additionally rent, you know, give a rental fee for that because it's already included in the package. You know, having a kimono in Japan is so expensive. Having your own kimono is super duper expensive, much more for a wedding kimono. So it would cost you millions of yen. By the way, for those who are asking, we don't have our wedding ceremony yet. So we wanted to have it in the Philippines, but um, because of the corona, we cannot really decide for the date yet. So, you know, we don't want to risk our family and friends. But uh, just to commemorate our marriage registration, we went to a photo studio and took um, beautiful photos of our marriage. And so that's why we decided to wear a wedding kimono. You know, the kimono that I wore was really super sophisticated, beautiful, and I think um, it was really a very beautiful moment because that's the only time in my life that I could ever wear a wedding kimono because probably in our ceremony I won't be wearing any of that anymore. Putting a kimono is not easy. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how exactly they put on everything. Um, I think it, it needs one dedicated video for that because I think it's so long. I cannot just put this here in this video. So I hope you enjoy this video. It actually has a lot of beautiful moments. You cannot really take a video inside their studio. I don't know why it's prohibited, but maybe they don't want to show their equipment stuff. What we could do is just actually take a video of like putting the makeup, putting everything on. I wore actually two kinds of kimonos. Um, the white one and the red one. Shohei just wore one, <laughs> but yeah, so we took videos of all of those things and we just want to show you a glimpse of that. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and start with the video.
い。はい。
enjoy seeing some beautiful kimonos there. I hope that you like, subscribe, and share to your friends. See you in my next vlog. Oh, <laughs>